All right, massive day in the car today. Five hours of traveling. These two little munchkins were legends. They did not win or complain at all. We finally made it to Broome. 33 degrees. We were pretty excited to explore this place. We've been here once before, but now we've got our own car here, so we can't wait. We finally made it to Broome. Check it out. She's a little bit happy to be at the beach. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. She gonna snore tonight. <laughs> it's on my bucket list to find a coconut and crack it open then eat it. And guess what we found? Three coconuts by the side of the Surely bucket. one of them's gonna be good. Now we gotta work out how to break into them. Oh. Hammer and tent peg. <laughs> Just gotta get through the actual coconut. Gotta build it. Coconut water. What do you think? Is it gonna be good or bad? I don't know. Oh! 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 I think it's gonna be good. I got a little bit of the coconut water, so we're gonna have a little taste test, see if it's a good one. That's a good one. We are drilling a hole into this coconut, trying to get it open, hopefully it works. What now? Just go like that with a hammer and a crack. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good? Yeah, you can check that one off the bucket list. Mm. So good. Dinner at the beach tonight. Cable Beach looking spectacular, so let's get set up. Get ready for this thing. Ostrich ring 270 awning, game changer. Come for a walk. And we're done. How good is that thing? Full shade. <laughs> Did you see up my shots? I found some pippies. What do we got happening? Dinner on the beach. Sunset dinner on the beach. Got some zucchini lentil balls and some rice and salad and cashew sour cream. That was good. Can we do that every day? Sunset dinner down at Cable Beach. Home cooked meal. Perfect. It's pretty funny, like everyone comes down the beach here in Broome at Cable Beach for the sunset. It's pretty iconic. And now like the sunset about 20 minutes ago, it's like a couple hundred cars all lined up. There's only one lane in, one lane out over these rocks. 
So it's, um, you know you're going to get stuck in it, but not a bad place to be stuck in traffic. Good way to end the day. Going for the staircase to the moon photo. No idea how to do it. No idea where to go, but I have a little like astronomy app on my phone and it says the moon is gonna rise in that gap over there. But no one else is here, so we're either gonna be awesome or we're gonna be really, really bad, but we'll find out soon. Night markets are on tonight in Broome anyway, so we're gonna hang out, get the iconic staircase to the moon photo, hopefully and then treat ourselves to some delicious treats at the night markets over there. So let's see what happens. Fingers crossed we get it. So crazy, just after sunset, all the bats come out of the mangroves. They must hang out there during the day and there are like thousands of bats now just coming out of the mangroves and flying over us. They all go into all the trees. It's weird. Cool though. Check them out. As soon as the sun comes down, you hear all these squawking sounds in the mangroves. So many bats in the sky right now. I don't know if that was good luck or good preparation, but we nailed it. We got to experience the staircase to the moon. We've seen it before, but didn't really have any good equipment with us years ago. So pretty magic to see that. The bats flying over us and we didn't get crapped on. And I think we scored some nice shots of the moon. So that was sweet. We're off to the markets now and pretty cool. dropping pressure, things are about to get fun. What a mega day today has been. We find ourselves right now at James Price Point and can we just look out here for a sec? Check out this crazy sunset. Alright, so we've spent the last week or so in Broome, um, in caravan parks, kind of boring, but we've had a few things we needed to sort out. Yeah. We had to get some work done on the car. Um, sort out some, internet. Yeah, ordered some parts for off-grid internet as, as best as we could, and that's not something we're expert at, but we're learning about and... Um, figuring it out. Figuring it out. We're, we're getting some pretty good results, but we want to keep testing it before we like talk it up or down. Yep. So let's just, um, we're going to keep fiddling with that because yep. up here there's no reception. Um, but yeah, we're just up towards Cape Levique at the moment, free camping. We've just got the most gem of a spot. Um, today was funny coming in. We 
bit off more than we could chew with one of the four wheel drive tracks and we got may or may not have got bogged oh no we got so bogged and i'm just going to apologize because it was so stressful in the moment that we didn't film it yeah but we should fully have stressful. it would have been such good content because yep. we were pretty much up to the axles in the troop here and the van was getting pretty bogged and we ended Jack up having yeah we had to reverse out about 400 meters of soft sand in the middle of the yep. day so but we, made it for this. The, uh, we I wish we shot it, but yeah. in the moment we just wanted to get out because our plan was to get up here really early this morning. Um, so we weren't setting up in the heat of the day. That all kind of went to crap, as most plans do, and we found ourselves bogged in the heat of the day. But yep. it, it's all worked out good because we've just scored an absolute gem of a spot here. Yep. Um, we've already done a little reef walk out with the girls on low tide. This is absolutely crazy. When we rocked up today, it was so hot. We were so dirty and dusty and annoyed from being bogged all day like we did a quick uh, caravan set up and then we've got this little beach right here that no one goes to and we went for a swim and it's pretty amazing the, like we literally walked to the bottom of these rocks and we're swimming and now at the moment we've got this full moon and like an, an eight and a half meter swinging tide so the yeah, tide has the gone tide. out so far so we'll right. show you tomorrow morning because all of this in the background will be underwater um, so we've just walked like or 500 meters out to sea and yep. um, checked it all out. So, this place already, we've only been here a few hours and it's like we love blown it. our minds. Yeah, yep. so we're going to spend a few days here, I reckon. Definitely. Um, and yeah, so enjoy and come with us. Yeah. Now it's more the adventure stuff. We're going to do a bit of off grid up here and yep. then we're going to look at hitting the Gibb River Road in the next sort of week or so. Yep, I don't know, it depends. We might just stay here for a week. We'll this, place, this place <laughs> is pretty epic, so um, yeah, yep. enjoy That's this it. one. Gotta show you how good this is. In the van, obviously, right now. Let's go outside. This is our spot. It is so magic. Have a look at this. Girls and dog having the time of their lives out there on the beach. Like 30 steps from camp. I'll swing it back and this is where we live. Magic. How good is that? It's like we've got our own personal little beach right out the front. Okay, so you might have seen yesterday afternoon after we were fully set up right before sunset, we went uh, walking the mud flats out here on low tide. All of this out here was totally exposed. So the tide was, I think about, a, I think now is high tide. It's like a nine and a half meter high tide and like a one meter low. So it's like an eight meter shift in the tide. So later on this afternoon, all of this water's gonna go and recede again and we're gonna be able to walk out about three or 400 meters. But it's so crazy how much it changes over the course of the day. So right now, Magic little beach out in front. We're gonna go for a dip.
got our iced coffee. I did. Delivery? Yeah. Cheers. The coconuts we cracked open the other day, well, we kept the husk from them because they're really good for fires because they just, they're super dry and stuff. They'll just catch on fire straight away. happening here <laughs> I just made a little pathway from the shower to the shade cloth so we don't get sandy feet after showers oh you're clever so clever looks so good yep show me how it works okay over here we have a shower yeah with our epic outdoor shower and you step out the bucket with your wet feet and you can just walk on this all the way to the shade cloth without getting your feet sand. Drop on top and then you're at home. Nice job. Sunset, finishing up the day with dinner by the fire, perfection. Yours well done, don't you, rocks? So, just a little bit of maintenance this morning. We haven't cleaned the solar panels in quite a while, and these few dusty roads lately. and yeah, they're so dirty, so we're going to hope we can uh, generate a little bit more solar. So we've got little rocks up on the roof here, and she's got the job of uh, giving the solar panels a little clean this morning. That looks much cleaner. really renowned to surf up this way but there's a little tiny wave out here that we've seen the last few mornings like as the tide rushes in it's like knee high but we're going to try and surf it today because we just got to get in the bloody water there's a little wave out over there but it only breaks on the low tide so we have to hurry before the tide comes up and ruins it so excited to go surfing again Hopefully we can catch some waves.
action and that's what counts. <laughs> Super fun. Do it again tomorrow. Now we've got a really long walk back home. <laughs> really Straight up that long. Hill. And into the outdoor shower. Rinse off. Breakfast number two. <laughs> There are the waves and there is our house. Well, another magic arvo at James Price Point. This is pretty much what we've been doing almost every afternoon. Low tide walks, as far as you want with not another soul in sight. Like it's bloody magic up here. So we're just gonna hang around for probably a few more days and a little bit more of this, just chilling out. Why well, wouldn't ya? Colours this time of the day are absolutely crazy. We've got the red cliffs that just go for miles and miles. Then we've got the crazy sunset, the blues. It's like changes throughout the course of the day, but these red cliffs in the afternoons, you've just got to see them. And you know you're in a good spot when there's like a tourist scenic flight going over like every 15 minutes on sunset. Like we've seen about 15 planes go over this afternoon. So you know you're in the right spot. It's so incredible. It's the end of a real good one. Yeah, it's um, it's something that I'm struggling with. Like we go to these places and they're so beautiful, and I don't want to leave. But I know that the whole point is to travel. But and, I just want to stay and see new places. Yeah, yeah, usually you get really excited about heading off to the next place, but this is one of those places that it's going to actually be pretty sad to leave because yep. we've been really lucky. Um, Perfect. The place weather. we found has just been an absolute dream for these last little while that we've been here. Um, yeah, I, I could stay forever at this place, but yeah, we've got to move on. Yep, and next place is going to be epic. Bucket list item for me, Gibb River Road. Yep. I don't know, it's got, I've got super high expectations, so. I can't wait for that. Yep. There's going to be, I think, a bit of variety, a bit of everything there, yep. but I hope everyone's enjoyed this one. It's been real fun yep. for us. If um, you can get up the Dampier Peninsula and get yourself to, like, James Price Point was definitely the winner here yeah, for us. Been we explored stoked. other places, but. This has been this, it. This yeah. was the winner for us, for sure. It's time to leave, though. The weather's <gasps> changed a little bit today. It's a bit cooler, so probably a good day to be packing up and yeah. hitting the road. Like it's, We've had all the sunny, beautiful beach days, and now it's a bit more mild, so it's a great day to pack up and hit the road. We've got to go back to Broome for a couple of days, restock on food and water, fuel, um, coffee. Geez, we got close to running out of coffee. That would have been a <laughs> freaking <straight>. nightmare. <laughs> um, so we've made it to the end with coffee in hand. Um, yep. So we'll go to Broome, restock, replenish, rejuvenate ourselves. Yep. And we're gonna hit the gib yep. in the next day or so. Yep. And uh, tune in for that. It's gonna be so good. If you've enjoyed this guys, thanks heaps for coming along. Um, leave us a comment, hit the subscribe for us. That's awesome. Um, and we can't wait to yep. 
get some more stuff out there because this next part is going to get really fun. It's going to be awesome. We'll see you on the Gib. You betcha. See ya.